Hey YouTube, Jeep and Bubba here, and uh, hey, welcome back to the shop, and uh, well, cheers, I got a Sweetwater Hazy IPA, and uh, it's Friday afternoon, and I owe you guys an update video. This is a March update video, and we are almost done with March, uh, I guess about seven or eight, nine days left in March, uh, but anyways, I'm going to shoot this video over to you, I owe it to you, so let's go ahead and get into it, cheers, and happy Friday if you're watching this on Friday. Okay, we got a lot going on, but I'm going to try to do this quick because I got 7% battery right now, but this video needed to get done. So, um, yeah, let's get to the important stuff first. Trail cleanup this weekend, March 21st, 9.45 a.m. Uh, meet us at the Dawsonville Kroger on 400. We were going to clean Dawsonville Forest. We're now doing Nimble Wheel Road, okay? So, uh, meet us at uh, Kroger um, in, uh, in Dawsonville. There's an event page on Facebook. If you're not on Facebook, you can email me, um, info at blackbrownfroad.com if you need more info. Uh, I've been cleaning the shop uh, pretty hard this week. We've had a lot of jobs coming through, but uh, been cleaning a lot because... Um, Adventure Russ will be here this weekend to film a video, and S3 Magazine is going to be here filming for Conan Wheels this weekend. So I'm getting the shop primo, getting everything tidied up and everything clean. Uh, when we're busy, we don't really worry too much about cleaning, other than sweeping a little bit here or there, taking the trash out. So mop the floor today, shine everything up, got it looking good. Can't wait to get those videos out. Check out their pages uh, to see those videos in the future. Also. If you're wondering what's been going on with our Windrock video, so we went to Windrock last month, we did a little wheeling, well, I have been slacking, not really, it's going to be a, a about a 30 minute video, and uh, I'm just trying to edit all the videos that we have, and what happened was in this trip, I filmed for about half the day, and then all chaos, chaos, all, you know, heck broke loose on the trail, and things broke, and people had to get pulled, and so what I had to do was... Uh, Pretty much other people started filming and I'm relying on their videos so I'm pulling these videos from all these different files and editing it but it's gonna be an awesome video but I got a bunch of other videos coming at you in the meantime I'm um, gonna actually be filming a um, an update video this week on the Comanche because we've done a lot to it recently um, and everything we've done up to it to this point has been very budget friendly. So I want to walk you guys around and show you what you guys could do and build on a budget of $3,000 basically. And that includes the vehicle. Uh, and that's a low budget for where we're at. I'm going to be wheeling it this weekend. So what I want to do is get that video out maybe Monday and show you a trail cleanup video maybe on Thursday. So uh, you'll have th three videos within March and then maybe starting April you should see that Windrock wheeling video come out. And um, I have some install videos coming up. We just did the install of the under hood lights on the JL. And uh, I got some super springs, which are kind of like, um, uh, they're a bump stop. That's kind of like an air bump, kind of like air ride. Uh, if you haven't listened to our podcast, go check it out on Spotify or uh, Apple, uh, um, whatever this stuff's called. Anyways, you can just Google um, Jeep and Bubba Podcast and uh, interviewed the uh, the CCO of uh, Super Springs International. But uh, we'll be doing an install video and you can check all of that stuff out. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, future events, Nemo's Tunnel is coming up next month. Uh, that should be a fun uh, trip. And, and the video itself excuse me, the event page itself is on Facebook. Again, if you're not on Facebook, email me. Uh, if you don't have an email, then you probably don't have a YouTube account. Uh, I don't know what to do. Send me a smoke signal. Uh, so, anyways, um, I do have a great, a big announcement I'm very, very excited about. I want to talk to you guys about. So, um, you kind of know the events coming up. Nemo's Tunnel, Dawsonville Trail Cleanup. Uh, we'll keep announcing events as they show up and uh, as they, we have a whole years of events already scheduled. We just kind of give you about two or three months of advance notice. Um, if it's something huge or big, we'll try to give you more notice, but, uh, not, nothing really planned on the docket. But our big announcement is we've been trying really hard to go full time here at Black Bear Off Road. And we are one step closer to that as of this week. 
And uh, there's a guy that's worked for us now uh, for, uh, well, since the beginning of us opening the shop. We're about in our first year, one year anniversary of being open at our location here in downtown Buford. And uh, Avery Ackerman has uh, worked for me. Uh, it was the first guy I ever hired as a manager uh, in my life. And uh, he worked for me for a couple years when I managed the Pet Boys. And then he's worked for Toyota and Honda. And recently he is now our first full-time employee. Uh, he beat me to being full-time here. I, I mean, I probably work 40 hours a week, but I'm not always here in this building. But Avery is going to be here um, during the week. And we're going to start having some regular business hours. The way it was before, we just did it by appointment only. When I was available nearby, I'd meet up with you, drop your vehicle off, we'd build them for you. Avery will be here during some regular business hours. So... I already know that like next week he'll be here Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 9 a.m. Uh, he'll be here till like 9 to 5, and then I'm coming in usually about 3.30, 4 o'clock, and then I'm usually here till 9 or 10 o'clock at night, if not later. So we're going to put those hours on Google um, in about a week or two when we figure out his schedule completely. Um, I do think ultimately we're going to be Monday through Thursday here with appointment only on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So uh, we'll meet you at any time. If you need to be here at 6 in the morning or 12 at night, if you want to get a vehicle in here, no issues at all with that. But uh, Avery's now going to be here uh, closing in on 35 to 40 hours a week, and he's going to be helping a lot. Um, this week he was here during the week and um, it had a lot. Of, we got a lot of stuff done. We did a lot of cleaning, uh, did some work on the Manchi, and, and had some customer builds in here as well. So that's an exciting announcement, and um, I hope to, you know, join them shortly as soon as I can uh, and get more hours into this building. Uh, I, this week I worked here three or four days, and um, so I, I put in quite a bit of, uh, of hours myself this week here, and, and it shows because our floors are clean and our walls are clean and our bathrooms are clean, and not that they're ever that bad, but, you know, it's time to do some spring cleaning and... Uh, yeah. So anyways, we're excited about that. Glad to have Avery on full-time as a, a full-time employee here and uh, be able to serve you guys better if you want to do some get some installs done here in Georgia. So uh, as I kind of wrap this video up, uh, there's something I wanted to talk to you guys about. My last update video, I kind of like, you know, uh, put my heart on my sleeve and kind of uh, just opened up about kind of some of my dreams and aspirations and things like that. And I've done that before in the past on podcasts. And uh, I don't think anything about it, just whatever I'm thinking or feeling I come to you guys with. Well, I had a couple people reach out to me and make some comments, and I think uh, there was a couple people that were really concerned. Uh, not really concerned, well, maybe really concerned. People were concerned about uh, me and, and my future and stuff like that. Something I probably didn't nail home or uh, or get the point across was, a lot of the things that I'm aspiring to do are like 10 to 15 years from now. So uh, it's a, I know it's going to be a slow process to build what I want. And so I'm not too stressed about like getting there quickly. Now, I had some awesome people reach out to me uh, offering to edit videos to film for me. And in the future, I'm actually going to try to uh, – a couple of these guys were out of state – I want to meet up with them and maybe get them to film a video for me uh, out of state. And I think it'd be cool to get their perspective of our day together and, and post that here so you guys can see that. And maybe they don't do an awesome uh, uh, video and edit, and that would be cool. So thanks for reaching out to me, those that did. And uh, I definitely want to meet up and do a video with you, and I think that'll be cool. Um, I, I would actually like to hire someone full time at some point to just follow me around. But, but, that might be six or seven or eight years from now. Who knows? But I, I think that that would be exciting. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. I did have a couple people reach out, and the, and they were giving some awesome advice. Uh, there was a comment posted on the video, and he was kind of helping me, like, maybe think about where your main revenue stream comes from, whether it's YouTube or your landscape business or whether it's from uh, from the shop. My main re revenue, um, just being frank with you guys, is from my landscape business I run with my brother-in-law. I make 
as of this month, the highest I've ever made on YouTube, $62 in one month. Now that's awesome. And you guys have been awesome about hitting that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe, like, share, tell all your friends about the channel. Um, it's absolutely free to subscribe, share, and like. So do it, okay? It helps me out and I appreciate it. But uh, I think we've had 79 new subscribers this month. That's awesome. We're closing on 2,000. Again, very, very awesome. Um, happy about that. But as far as uh, the revenue goes, 62 bucks a month. Not my huge revenue stream. I make most of it landscaping. Now, this shop, uh, we're closing in on a year here between the website and the shop it's been a great secondary income and at first I just said if I can make it a couple years of paying the rent here building the brand building a customer base that I would be happy well we went through an entire year and never missed a rent payment I didn't have to dig in my own wallet to to make rent and that was amazing for me and my family because you know there's just not a lot of extra to get in that savings account just to pay rent for something I'm passionate and, and I put a lot of hours in here I have to, to, to give kudos to my wife because most nights during the week I'm getting home between well I'm getting home late and I'm not seeing the kids and she's having to put the kids to bed and then I'm there on the weekends maybe if I'm not wheeling or something like that so we don't get to see each other as lot a lot but she's really been supportive of my dream she's been awesome by bringing the kids by here by the shop like my daughter uh, a couple weeks back was like, let's go to daddy's house. And I was like, oh, because she's talking about my garage, like my shop. But I'm here a lot and we're building a dream and we know that it's important. And I know that sacrifices have to be made to get to where I want to get. And I'm willing to make those sacrifices. So I, you guys don't worry about me at home. I wasn't just like telling you all these things to like make you feel bad or sorry for me. I was just kind of opening up and telling you about myself and where I want to go and uh uh, Avery told me when I brought him on, he said, you know, like 10 years from now, I'm just going to tell you to get out of here and we're, you know, someone else is going to run the shop. He'll run the shop and there'll be other people working and I can just go, you know, wheeling and, and filming and doing YouTube. So, you know, that, that would be awesome. So Avery thinks it's possible. Um, so that's all I need, right? I mean, just a little hope and a dream and a lot of elbow grease and uh, some back equity and some sweat equity. So uh, we're putting that in right now. We're building a brand, and you guys on YouTube have been super supportive, and I really, really appreciate it. I've had a lot of awesome people uh, who have supported me along the way as far as the uh, Black Bear Trail team um, and, and my friends and family. I couldn't do it without you. So we made it a, a year-ish right now uh, at this business, and, uh, well, that's awesome. It's, it's worth drinking, too. And it definitely has its, had its highs and lows, and... Um, at the end of the day, I um, have a, a really good energy about this place. I see us uh, moving quite quickly, uh, faster than I could have imagined in um, at going uh, bigger and, uh, and growing and expanding. And so um, we're just doing the best we can to uh, keep up with everything that's coming our way. And, uh, you know, we're humble. We're happy to be able to serve the um, the North Georgia community, as well as we've had people come down uh, from Michigan, we've had people come up uh, from Florida, from Tennessee, uh, from North Carolina, and, um, and and all throughout the Southeast, and we've been happy to serve them, and uh, we're going to continue to do that. So um, uh, there was uh, someone kind of hit me up and was like, "Hey, do you mind doing this install for me? Uh, I know that's not the main thing you want to do." I meant, I guess what I meant by that was me personally, I don't always want to be the installer. And um, that's just because I've been in the automotive business for 10 years now. I've been, these are, hands are like permanently got oil like in them forever. I don't know if you can see that, but they're, they're cracked. They're oily. I got strong hands and a, and a sore back every day and shoulders and all that good stuff that comes with being a mechanic. Uh, and it's every day, you know, I got stained clothes and wearing greasy clothes all the time. I don't, I have the gift of gab. Thankfully, I enjoy sales. I like talking to people. I like dealing with people and I like promoting and doing videos and things like that. So being up front, running the business, doing the advertising, uh, doing the sales. And I love going through a build with somebody. That's my favorite thing on planet earth. You bring me a vehicle and we walk through it and we talk through it and we build it out. Um, whether it's in, in one session or over the phone or texting or 
late nights you send me stuff you like and whatever and we figured out um you know that is fun and to see the final steps uh my friend brandon uh he's been working on his cherokee now for a couple months and we've gone back and forth and he's added stuff and done this and i see him really just immersing himself in this build that he's really you know he's loving it enjoying it and i get to be a part of that that is you know it brings me a lot of joy it makes me happy I like being a part of that, and um, honestly, I like having time to work on my own vehicles, and I haven't had a lot of that, so having Avery here is really, it's really going to help um, free up some time. He's going to be able to help me on some of those things, and um, so, you know, I just wanted to clarify that stuff that we're doing here, good at, we're doing great here at Black Bear Off-Road. We'd love your business. If, if you're going to buy 4x4 four four parts, we would love if you would consider spending your money here with us. You know, a lot of people just got their Joe Bucks. So, uh, you know, we'd love to, uh, <laughs> if you're going to spend them, please spend them with us. And uh, you can do that online. You can do that in person. We can do an install for you. Uh, if you're someone who can install yourself or you're out of state, um, we can ship all over the United States, and we'd be glad to do that. And uh, we have a website, blackbearoffroad.com. That's uh, blackbearoff-road.com. You can Google us. You can see this image here. Or uh, if you notice that banner in the background, that's our other image. So um, that's our logo. So you can find us on Google. And um, so anyways, um, we've been kind of pushing a little bit on LinkedIn recently and making some new friends. And so that's going to help us. We've made some connections and we're going to add some more stuff to the podcast. If you're a podcast listener, a lot more interviews coming your way. And I have a three-part mini series I'm going to be bringing to you shortly. We've had a little gap in that. But here's one thing. If it wasn't for YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and the community I've built traveling the United States doing Jeep shows and the friends I've made and the connections, I wouldn't have had the, the network to start this business. Uh, when I have the time, posting helps create business coming in, and then you know that becomes installs and parts sold. Right now, we've had so many installs coming in that I've been slow to post, and that's totally not acceptable it's because it helps bring in future business, but also you guys consume it, and in, and some of you tell me you enjoy it and continue to watch and like whatever. So what I want to do is get out as much as I can. So I'm sorry if some things are delayed, but as I can make them, I will post them and get them to you. And, um, you know, we're starting to get into the spring, and it's going to be wheeling season soon. I know you guys are working on your build, so if you have any questions, you have any needs or wants, or if there's anything I can do for you, just reach out, info at blackbearoffroad.com, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, leave a comment down below, whatever works for you. I'm here if you need me. Um, guys, I hope you have a venture plan for your future. I don't know if you've ever eaten a prune in your life, but I'm going to tell you this. They're fantastic. Be eating them. Eat your prunes, folks. Cheers. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you're healthy and safe. I'm Jeep and Bubba. I hope to see you.